Starfield! <laughs> Yay! What's this uh, game then, Gareth? <laughs> I have no idea what this game is, but this week, because we 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 have, I I I am a firm believer of tempering expectations. They haven't shown us too much of what's going on. We've seen some goofy mistakes, which is fine. It is a Bethesda game. There was Fallout 76. There was problems with Fallout 4. There was problems with Fallout New Vegas. The bugs come as standard in Bethesda games. That's what I've got reached the conclusion. But Starfield's upcoming RPG is poised to be one of the most significant AAA releases of 2023. Uh, with the universe face facing over a thousand planets and only a hundred habitable, uh, the game promises a vast, immersive experience. And here we are to look at four aspects that the fans are eagerly anticipating. Come on, Babstad, let's hear you. Let's hear what you've got to say on this. I know that you were you were a big elite dangerous player, and um, come yeah, on. You have a thousand a thousand planets is nothing really compared to elite dangerous. I think elite dangerous adds oh, forty billion. <laughs> so, <laughs> and I think yeah. even to this day, only something like naught point naught one something percent of the entire galaxy has been explored, and it was. Released in 2014. So there you go. That just shows the, the scale of the game. I don't but, want to know how uh, much of No Man's Sky hasn't been discovered. Oh, that's a good point. Asked... Yeah. <laughs> you know, probably haven't I'm... even hit 1%. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so we've got shipbuilding and customization. Uh, one of the standout features of Starfield is, uh, is shipbuilding and customization. Players can modify... Their starting ship, um, the frontier in various ways from aesthetics to functionality. Additionally, players can purchase other ships, allowing for a collection of unique vessels tailored for a different mission type. Um, so that's that's nothing new, but it's nice. No, it's nice to be included. <laughs> It is nothing. It, it, uh, what I, I would like is is they're talking about this. I'd like to have like a big ass like you get you get your freighter in No Man's Sky, mm. a big ass like base a, a a base that you can take around with you and you can park your ships in. That'll be yeah. further on into the game, though. I imagine. Yeah. I'm you're not going to get sold to me as DLC. You, you know, well, there is, you're not going to get that to start off with. You're, you're going to have like a little biplane, aren't you? To start with. <laughs> Gonna give you a gonna give you a Skoda. A space Skoda, that's what it is. Yeah, or a larder. A larder with wings. Remember and then people are, why, Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say, and people wonder why it's worth like ten salami sandwiches. Um yeah. So what else we got there? We've got, so, we've so got we've the got ship some, customization. Uh, I've seen a bit of that. Yeah. Uh we've got character customization. So uh, Pretty... Bethesda has revamped its character creation process. The game offers an extensive range of customization options from physical appearance to backstory. Players can select from various backgrounds, each providing unique starting skills. Additionally, players can choose their traits for their character, which will influence their in-game experience. I like the idea of that. There's a bit of that in Cyberpunk as well. Yeah, it's... Uh, but it's... again... You can customise your character. Yay! We've seen all that before. But I like the idea of the backgrounds because isn't that the same as um, Oblivion and... Hang, 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 hang on a second. I'd just like to point out with the backgrounds, yeah. Go on. Um, the backgrounds in Cyberpunk were absolutely pointless. Well, there was. That is true. It's, it's I, actually, it's no, they weren't. They, they weren't. Because I was a corpo and nothing came up of me no, being a corpo. They, they weren't pointless. You had different um, dialogue options, apparently. Did you? Okay. And no you, one and ever you could, showed me that. I've, yeah, I've you knows. could get round. You could get round certain characters depending on where you were from. So if you're from the street, or yeah. So hmm. yeah, that that was in there. So that's interesting. I like the idea of that. Um, side quests. Hang on a so, second. Hold on a second. On. I can hear Preston Garvey. And he says another settlement needs your help. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen right? There's, there's just before you carry on. There's well, there's a great well, little clip of someone at like a fan convention, and they're talking to someone dressed up as a ghoul. And I think I can't remember if he's the, he's the mayor of the opposing town to um, 
uh, the green, whatever it is, uh, Diamond City, yeah? And, and as he's talking to him, Preston Garvey, this guy dressed as Preston Garvey goes, Attack, uh, was it a, a quick uh, a settlement needs your assistance or something like that. And I'm like pissing myself laughing because that's what pretty much what he did throughout the game with these radiant, horrible radiant quests. But uh, um, ooh, yeah, so go on. Sorry to interrupt. I'll, I'll let you go. That's all good. So side quests. So Beth Bethesda is known for its intricate side quests and Starfield is expected to be no exception. Given that the game reportedly has double the dialogue of Fallout 4, Stop players that. can anticipate a plethora of engaging side mm -hmm. missions that delve deep into the game's lore and world. Well, we all love side missions. Um, but the, it, I, it, I tend to just do side missions and deviate off the main mission anyway uh, to get loads I of tend stuff. To... <laughs> I tend to play it, and it's like if I get a side mission, I do all the side missions, and then when I've done all the side missions, that's like I'm, I can move on to the next mission, which that's will then exactly unlock more that. side missions and yes. just hundred percent like that. Yeah, yes, totally. Yeah, um, I I didn't play Fallout Four, so I can't really comment on uh, whether the dialogues. Be it wasn't. It wasn't as good as, as three in New Vegas. Vegas. It was okay. closer to Mass Effect than it was to think. Mass Effect was fine, but it wasn't like you had the speech points where it's like clearly if you had sixty more speech points, you could get around this person. You didn't see things like that, um, and it only really had like four options. And you click the option, and it was pretty much we gave the same reply pretty much, and it was a bit, a bit shit in places for that, but. I still enjoyed myself playing it. I'll be honest with you. I still I like I just like exploring around the world and having people to to interact with. The downside isn't this has got nine hundred planets worth of no one. Maybe some robots. Maybe an alien probe. Maybe some alien robot probes. But yeah. So uh, hopefully the side missions will be good. There'll be some goofy ones in there. Um, but yeah, yeah, there's like there was always the. I'm hoping that they put the. Um, Lovecraftian ones that. in there, yeah. I'm hoping they put some Lovecraftian references like they're doing the Fallout games, because you play the Fallout games. There's one area called the Dunwich Borers, and you go in there and you start getting flashbacks of all the stuff that went down before the bombs fell, and then there's these giant statues and human sacrifices and stuff like that, and it's like wow. Then there was the Dunwich Building, which had a book that you needed to push into a column to kind of exercise it, and you listen to this guy as he became more ghoulified. As uh, he went further and further through the building, so uh, I'm hoping I get something like that. Just one mission. I don't need the whole thing. Just one mission where it's like, "Ooh, this is like kind of left field sort of thing." Sorry, I'll, uh, I'm, 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 no, it's okay. I, I'm expecting um, some ID software Easter eggs because of their um, involvement in the combat, apparently. Um, and because of something else we're talking about later on, uh -huh. I think that that will that will be in there. But anyway, exploring the, the thousand planets, the game boasts a staggering one thousand planets. While these planets are procedurally generated, Bethesda has added a personal touch by manually modifying them. This combination ensures a vast universe with handcrafted content making exploration a core aspect of the game they did exactly the same in elite dangerous so it was into mm. one-to-one -one, um representation of our galaxy and then they they added planets based on science mm. um but obviously this has got a thousand planets so to me that's not very many Especially when you've been playing Elite and uh, No Man's Sky, yeah. But uh, it, dep it does depend on what they're going to put on these planets. I, I don't want I don't want a thousand planets with with life. I want because th that's the good thing about Elite. When you're playing Elite, you, you do end up visit visiting a lot of rocks, a lot of non-atmospheric planets. But then when you do come across life. It's more of an excitement. It's more of a wonder because of that exploration part of it. And, oh, look what I found. Whereas if every planet you go to, you you know you're going to find something. 
it yeah. takes that wonder out of it, exploration. Yeah. So I'd, I am all for that. Um, but it depends on what they've handcrafted in there. It depends how big the planets are, how much of that planet can you explore. Um, mm. Going back to Elite Dangerous, you could literally um, land on a planet and you could spend days, weeks trying to go around this planet, depending on the planet, because it's it's one-to-one -one of a representation of the size of a planet. I don't know what how big these planets are going to be? Are they going to be based yeah. on clients? Are they going to be based on um, planets that we know of? So I'm unsure. Is it is it going to be like a little kind of sandbox area rather than a whole planet? Is the next question. I hope because so. we know we we know that there's when I say sandbox, I mean like kind of not a whole planet, but just like a, a like a I don't know a four kilometers by four kilometer area that you can explore. So uh, um, that's that's another concern. Are you going to get a vehicle? A well, yeah, where, walking around. Walking where are you going to land? The whole planet? Are you always, yeah. it's, let's say you're on your ship. Can you choose where where you want to land on the planet, like you can in Elite? Can, or can you recall your ship like you can in No Man's Sky? Yeah. So uh, yeah, these are these are questions that we need yeah. answers to. Can I'm you afraid. send your ship ship back up? Mm. Um, they've they've got a lot of reference points haven't they they've got a lot there's a lot of release games already out there that they they can steal ideas from and then improve on them mm. um so yeah I, i'm i'm still super positive for this game they're putting a lot into this aren't they they've, yeah, they've that, got to... microsoft need this because if this fails xbox is dead i'm sorry it xbox is dead but um, it says, you know, Starfield is shaping up to a monumental release in the game world from the intricate customization options to universe waiting to be explored. Players are in for a real epic space adventure as the launch date approaches. Anticipation continues to build for this blockbuster RPG. And I say, just be careful. Don't get your hopes up too high, just in case. Yeah, if we can do that, everything will be fine. Don't get your hopes up, Baxter. Just temper expectations. You'll be, it'll, it'll work out, trust me. Oh, <laughs>